today I will be talking about the nine things of digital citizenship. But first, I want to define what digital citizenship is. Digital citizenship can be defined as the norms of appropriate and responsible behavior with regard to technology use. And for the first theme of digital citizenship, it is called digital access. Digital access is defined as the full participation in society. Technology users need to be aware that not everyone has the same opportunities when it comes to technology. And a possible danger of digital access is that for the people who do have access to the uh, modern updates of technology, anything that you do online can be traced and redirected back towards you in milliseconds. Number two, digital commerce. Digital commerce is the electronic buying and selling of goods online. The obvious danger of this is um, with hackers nowadays, they can steal your info from when you buy things online. They can set up fake websites to where they get all your information and then eventually steal your identity from that point and harm everything that is associated with you digitally with like credit cards and stuff like that. Number three, digital communication is the electronic exchange of information. And the dangers of this is you, people can potentially exchange too much info, such as on websites when they ask for your social security number, you should probably never give that out under any circumstances because even though the website may seem legit, there's always consequences to you giving out your social security number and you always play a risk of somebody stealing your identity. Number four is digital literacy. Digital literacy is the process of learning and teaching about the technology and the use of technology. Potential dangers of this is as new technologies emerge, people may not know how to use them appropriately and could potentially harm themselves but they're and tarnish their digital footprint by doing things that they did not know that they were supposed to do and not just having general information on how to do certain things online with the new vast amount of technology. Number five is digital etiquette and that is just the electronic standards of conduct or procedure. The dangers of this is with someone who doesn't have digital, digital etiquette will go online posting things that should not be online such as inappropriate comments, photos making fun of people, cyberbullying, raunchy photos with ex like such as explicit content, and that's about it for digital etiquette. Number six, digital law is the electronic responsibility for actions and deeds. Um, the dangers of this is when it is potentially just like cyberbullying, when you don't stand up for someone and you're not following the digital law of being responsible for the actions and deeds or it could be just you not taking responsibility for something you did that was wrong online number seven is the digital rights and responsibilities and can be defined as those freedoms extended to everyone in a digital world the dangers of this of uh, the digital rights and responsibilities is just basically not being a respectable person online. And it's just like the Bill of Rights, there's a set of rules that everybody should follow online. And if those rules aren't followed, then it causes for issues. Number eight is the digital health and wellness, and it's the physical and psychological well-being in a digital, digital technology world. And the dangers of this is just like how there's, how there's regular education in our world, there needs to be education on the digital world as well and users need to be taught how to protect themselves online and if they aren't taught then it can lead to some serious consequences and last but not least number nine is digital security or self-protection that can be defined as the electronic precautions to guarantee safety and in any society there will always be people who want to steal from you and the consequences of not having a good digital security is people can hack you, um, take your information just like what I said with the digital commerce and 
if you don't have the good digital security, then there's lots of people out there who can get any type of information they want on you that could potentially ruin your life.